In developing the IS model, investment is considered as a function of rate of interest. Consumption and saving as functions of income. Equilibrium in the goods market is achieved when, savings are equal to investment. At all points on IS curve, goods market is in equilibrium. IS curve is a plot of equilibrium output for various interest rates within the market for goods and services. ZZ is aggregate demand curve and the 45 degree line is AS curve. No two characteristics of ZZ. Because it's assumed that the consumption and investment relations are linear, ZZ is, in general, a curve rather than a line. ZZ is drawn flatter than a 45 degree line because it's assumed that an increase in output leads to a less than 1 for 1 increase in demand. Now let's derive IS curve. Look at the two figures, it shows that IS curve is derived by joining equilibrium points of goods market. Upper part shows an increase in the interest rate decreases the demand for goods at any level of output, leading to a decrease in the equilibrium level of output. Equilibrium in the goods market implies that an increase in the interest rate leads to a decrease in output, this is why IS curve is downward sloping. Let's look at some properties of IS curve. First it is downward sloping as interest increases investment decreases and thus, output decreases. Increase slash decrease in autonomous expenditure will shift the IS curve rightward slash leftward accordingly. The steepness or flatness of the IS curve describes the elasticity or responsiveness of C and I to the nominal interest rate. Steep IS curve, inelastic. Flat IS curve, elastic. Shifts in IS curve due to taxes. An increase in taxes shifts the IS curve to the left. Similarly a decrease in taxes will shift IS curve to right. Hope your doubts are clear, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Also please do like and share the video also hit the subscribe button to stay updated with new videos. Thank you.